Hey guys, Juan from Fifth Gear Automotive. Today I'm thrilled to introduce you guys to Steve. Steve is our director of our autosports division here at Fifth Gear Automotive, and he brings a, a, a wealth of knowledge for the high end performance vehicles. And today he's going to be sharing a little insight about autosports and their brand new expansion. Steve, with Fifth Gear Automotive having such a strong reputation, what led to the decision to launch the high performance auto sports division? Sure, so auto sports is really us getting back to our roots. In 2004, when we opened Fifth Gear, we were motorsports. The original name of Fifth Gear was Fifth Gear Motorsports. So the decision to, to open auto sports here was really to get back to our roots, to get back to those vintage Porsche cars and the track cars and now kind of the new thing that we're doing is the high-end um, sports performance cars. Cool. Running a high-end shop like Autosport sounds pretty exciting. Um, can you tell us a bit about how you, Nate, and Nick came together as a team uh, sharing your passion for Autosports? Yeah, so before we started Autosports, Nick, Nate, and I were on the race crew mm -hmm. together. So we've been team members. Nate and I also grew up next door to each other. So we've been friends, brothers, our whole lives. Um, and Nick and Connor joined us on the race crew. Um, so we've been a good team as the race crew. It was just Nate and I um, at the beginning and getting Nick over here. You know, us already being a team member with him on the race mm -hmm. crew, given his skill sets as well as technical abilities um, working on cars. He was, you know, our first pick to get him over here. So we are ready. We're on a team, yeah. you know, together and, and know how to work with each other. Um, so it was a nice transition uh, to make it, uh, you know, our kind of fun hobby thing become our auto sports daily job. What factors sparked the decision to expand the auto sports division? Was there any specific customer need or any market trends you guys saw? Yeah, so a little, a little bit of our needs, a little bit of customer needs. The customer need being parking. Our big thing is parking. We, we had limited parking um, mm -hmm. with just Suite 120. Now that we've gotten this suite that we're in now, Suite 124, we doubled our parking capacity. Um, so that was a big thing was being able to park cars, especially inside and, and have them protected inside was, was a big customer need. We also only had two lifts for two technicians to be working off of two lifts. Really for us, we needed to get two more lifts. And so now we have those two more lifts here in Suite 124. Um, so a little bit of parking, a little bit of um, added workspace. Not to mention a front front door experience too. Yeah. Um, so now we have a, a front door experience and a, a proper waiting room. How has the day-to-day -day operations changed at Fifth Gear Autosports with the new expansion? Have you seen any new challenges uh, that you've encountered so far? Sure, yeah. So just in general, um, we have a lot more space, more facility to take care of. So we've added a fourth team member, Julius, who's helping us take care of the facility um, and, and keep us efficient in the shop. Um, so. With more space um, mm -hmm. comes more cleaning. Um, so we've hired that fourth guy um, to help us, you know, take care of this place. Um, can you share some details about the exciting new features of the new expansion at Auto Sports? What will make a unique experience for customers you know, coming in with this new facility? Sure. So, I mean, really what makes us unique is just the cars that we work on. Cause really what we're trying to do is make it consistent with the experience mm -hmm. of the other shops. We were a little bit more of a speakeasy, just a garage for the last two years. Having a front door and having a customer experience area really actually makes us more similar to the other shops so that we can have that customer facing experience. And then what makes us unique is just the fact that we work on the cars that we work on. Um, and we're very transparent at all the fifth gears to get customers to come into the back. and put their eyes on, on what we're looking at. So that's really what makes us unique and what makes us different is we're very transparent. We want to show you what we're doing on the car. Um, we want to get you back there. Uh, really the expansion has just given us that front door 
um, experience and, right. and taking taking that customer experience to the next level as they're you know have come to expect with our other shops. Yeah. All right, and then finally, uh, just looking ahead, how can local customers and businesses get involved with the new auto sports location? Are there any opportunities for uh, partnerships or any community events? So we just had a successful Mavs and Mochas with uh, Porsche Club of America, mm -hmm. the Maverick region, our local region here. We had about 100 people come out here to Lake Park, and it's a you know a cars and coffee type of yeah. thing. We set up a tent and do coffee and donuts, and then everybody in the Maverick region can come show up with their car, park them out here, and we can just kind of walk around and be around other like-minded individuals. So that was really successful. We just had our first one last weekend, and we are hoping to do more, maybe once a month, once a month have that type of meetup where, you know, it's, you know, show up, have some coffee, have some donuts on a Saturday. Let's walk around and see some cool cars and give us an opportunity to, you know, engage with the community on a little bit more of a laid back, relaxed environment rather than them coming into the office and feeling yeah. like they're at the dentist and they're about to get put under the microscope. Being at, a, <laughs> at that cars and coffee type of uh, right. community event, so yeah, we're looking forward to, to doing more of those maps and focus. Cool.